The study focuses on understanding the social context of eating among college students in eight countries using multimodal smartphone sensing data and self-reports. It aims to identify behavioral and contextual characteristics extracted from eating events and analyze how geographical diversity affects the inference performance of models. The researchers conducted a descriptive analysis, demonstrating the natural time dependency of eating patterns and the hourly distribution of eating alone versus eating with others events across the eight countries. They also developed inference models with various methods, including separate models for each country, aggregate models based on geographical proximity, and a model that pulls data from all countries. The results showed that the AUC of population level models was 0.58, while the hybrid models achieved AUC scores of up to 0.75. The feature importance extracted from the hybrid models revealed that the same subset of features is used consistently across all countries with varying degrees of relevance. This study provides a comprehensive understanding of country diversity by revealing more complex relationships in the data that could not be identified through statistical analysis alone. In this study, the authors explore the role of country diversity in social context inference during eating events using multimodal smartphone sensing. They utilize a dataset collected over a four-week period in November 2020, aimed to understand the everyday behavior of college students across eight countries. The dataset includes demographic information, user-reported activities, location, social context, and mood. The authors focus on eating events, which represent 5% to 7% of the data, and examine the relationship between smartphone sensor features and the two social contexts of eating, alone or with others. The authors perform a descriptive analysis by examining the hourly distribution of eating events for both social contexts. They find that all countries show a higher distribution of, alone, reports during the morning, suggesting that breakfast might have been taken alone. This finding is consistent with previous research in nutrition sciences, showing that eating alone most commonly takes place in the morning and midday. However, the peak of alone reports during the evening for Italy significantly decreases, indicating that dinner is more likely to happen with other people. The eating context is time-dependent, and while this holds for all countries with varying degrees, the patterns are not the same, providing additional evidence of the cross-country diversity regarding eating behaviors. The authors also conduct a statistical analysis with hypothesis testing to understand the cross-country differences. They perform t-tests to uncover features that define eating social context in each country and report the top five features with the highest t-statistic and p-values lesser than 0.05 in Table 2. They visualize individual self-reports in the high-dimensional feature space using stochastic neighbor embedding TSNE, to investigate country-specific behaviors. A balanced aggregation of countries is created by randomly selecting a subset of reports in each country, and the data is standardized before fitting the embedding. The results are presented in Figure 4, where each report is mapped to a two-dimensional point, revealing clusters of similar events. To compensate for overlapping points, an additional density plot is presented where the 2D space is partitioned based on polar coordinates, and the density of events in each partition is calculated as given in Figure 5 and Figure 6. The research paper discusses the social context of eating with multimodal smartphone sensing, focusing on the role of country diversity. It presents statistical analysis on effect sizes and feature groups, visualizing diversity with country-specific embeddings, and inferring the social context of eating using different inference methods. The study highlights the importance of considering cross-cultural variability in smartphone usage and eating behavior. It demonstrates that features like proximity, app usage, and Wi-Fi signals vary significantly across countries, indicating distinct social contexts. The paper also evaluates the performance of different inference models, such as XGBoost, MLPs, and Random Forests, to generalize across users and countries. The results show that XGBoost performed well, especially when using sparse data and optimizing hyperparameters through nested cross-validation. The study concludes that developing diversity-aware models is crucial for understanding the social context of eating across different cultures. This research paper explores the impact of country diversity on inferring the social context of eating using multimodal smartphone sensing. 
The study employs a dataset of over 24,000 self-reports from 678 participants across eight countries, collected over four weeks. The authors evaluate the performance of population-level and hybrid models, trained on multimodal mobile sensing data, in inferring eating alone versus with others. The results show that country-specific models trained with the population-level approach exhibit uneven performance across countries with European countries performing better than those in Asia and Latin America. The hybrid models, which incorporate a fraction of each user's data, demonstrate improved results, particularly in countries with limited data. The feature importance analysis reveals that different features are utilized across countries and continents, highlighting the diversity of user practices associated with eating events. The study highlights the need to account for country biases and diversity when building machine learning models based on mobile sensing data. The results demonstrate that geographical proximity cannot be used as a proxy for similar user behaviors, and that social context differs greatly across users, even within the same country. The authors recommend considering relevant contextual factors and country differences during the planning phase of studies for training models with multimodal data. The study has some limitations, including the use of data collected at a single university in each country, which may not be representative of the entire country. Additionally, the number of participants is uneven between universities, leading to data imbalance. Future work can focus on incorporating additional contextual information, such as location, weather, and behavior, and exploring more granular aspects of diversity, such as socioeconomic background or cultural norms. This research paper focuses on understanding the social context of eating with multimodal smartphone sensing, particularly exploring the role of country diversity. The authors draw upon various studies on eating behavior, social context, and mobile sensing to inform their research. They highlight the importance of considering country-level diversity in mobile sensor-based models, citing studies that demonstrate the impact of social context on eating behavior. The authors conduct a comprehensive review of existing literature on eating behavior, including research on meal intake, eating alone versus with others, and the role of social modeling in eating. They also examine studies on mobile sensing and its applications in understanding eating behavior, such as detecting eating episodes and inferring food consumption levels. The authors emphasize the need for generalization and personalization of mobile sensing-based models, highlighting the limitations of existing models in capturing country-level diversity. They propose the use of diversity scores to disentangle country-level generalization issues and discuss the ethical challenges of designing diversity-aware platforms for social relations. The paper also explores the relationship between eating behavior and mental well-being, citing studies that examine the impact of moods and social context on eating behavior. The authors discuss the importance of considering the social context of eating in understanding eating behavior and its implications for mental health. Overall, this research aims to contribute to the development of more accurate and culturally sensitive mobile sensing-based models for understanding eating behavior, taking into account the complexities of country-level diversity and social context.